guys, I'm out here on Overbrook Island in North Carolina where as you can tell it is super windy. Um, but I'm out here not at school right now because I'm uh, teaching other teachers how to do the flip model which is pretty cool. Um, so they're learning all my goofy tricks and hopefully able to pass those on to other, other people and other students. So I'm actually here today to talk to you about biodiversity which is really cool. But I'm going to go someplace where it's a little less windy and we'll, we'll learn more there. While I'm moving, I want you to think about how many species do you think there are on Earth? Without Googling it, give it a good guess. How many species total in the world? Phew, okay, way less windy. So how many species? A hundred million, five, 30,000. Well, actually there's about 1.9 million species on Earth that are identified. The problem is scientists don't actually know how many species total there are on Earth. There are estimations anywhere up to 5 million or 30 million. So the jury's still out. We still don't know a lot about all the bacteria that are alive um, on Earth, especially smaller organisms like protists and insects um, that we just haven't identified in places that we have not been. Um, so it's going to take a while before we have a better estimation on that. But that all contributes to biodiversity, which is what I want to talk about today, um, which includes all of the variety of life on Earth. Now, there are different types of biodiversity, and biodiversity is kind of straightforward. Um, the more organisms or more different types of organisms you have in an area, the higher the biodiversity. The fewer uh, number of different species in an area, the lower the biodiversity. And I want you to think really quick. Do you think having higher biodiversity or lower biodiversity um, is better or worse? So think about it for a second, and then we're going to go over the different types of biodiversity. All right, so first we're going to talk about species diversity. Now this is the one that you probably think of when you think of biodiversity, but it just means the number of different species in a particular ecosystem on Earth. Um, so if you look out in your backyard and you try to count the number of different species that are out there, there's a lot. Um, you know, it, it's not just the grasses, but it's all the um, bacteria that are in the soil or the organisms that come out that are, you know, pests like deer or squirrels, um, but also insects that fly from your plants and flowers and might pollinate other flowers. So it's really wild the number of species that will exist in just one small portion or area, but the more, the higher the biodiversity. Next we have genetic diversity. Now this is the difference among um, different species in, in a population. So the di the more differences there are um, genetically in a certain population, the higher the genetic biodiversity is. First off, the higher genetic variation we have in a particular population or within a community, we um, have organisms that are less susceptible to diseases. So if we only have one type of organism with very little genetic diversity, they can easily be wiped out by one type of disease or pest or something that attacks that particular species. So. Um, ecosystems or communities that are in danger of you know, being wiped out or being decreased um, sometimes have a lower genetic diversity. Think of all the products we get from other organisms. We, don't, we can't make everything that we need as humans. Think about when we did our plants unit and we named all the different uses of plants, not only for food, but for industry, for school supplies, for our clothes, for fuel, for drugs. Um, there's just so many uses that are so important to our lives from different species, and we need more biodiversity to uh, be able to access all these different products. Finally, um, we just have an increased productivity and stability of ecosystems if we have a high biodiversity. So lastly, I want to talk about a biodiversity index, which we'll be using in the lab activity we're going to do shortly. So a biodiversity index is just a way of measuring biodiversity in a specific, specific ecosystem or community. Um, so we take the number um, the, of different species and then we divide it by the number of individual organisms within an ecosystem. So that's it on biodiversity. Rewind if I talk too fast and I hope to see you guys later.